In part three, we discuss a simple resistor circuit. Uh, this is a part four, inductance and capacitance circuit. When a current flow through a resistor, power is uh, consumed, uh, become heat. When a current flow, an inductor, or a capacitor. Energy is stored and then returned. That means inductor capacitor only store energy or, or release, relieve energy. They uh, cannot generate or consume energy. That is uh, a big difference from a resistor. Let's uh, start. Um, to discuss uh, inductor. The inductor is uh, common uh, to make, um, uh, uh, it is uh, common to make an uh, inductor by coil. Uh, during a synchronous uh, session, I will show you um, what look like. It's a coil of wire winding around a coil, either magnetic coil or non-magnetic coil. It is based on magnetic field. In physics, an inductor opposes change in current. And so the current through an inductor would not easily change. So we use inductance as a parameter to describe an inductor. A symbol, we use L. Uh, the unit for inductance is a Henry uh, or use a H or midi Henry is a MH. This is a after American Joseph Henry. Uh, again, you notice uh, here is uh, 1797 to 1878. Now here is a symbol. That is a symbol for uh, inductance. Uh, if you have a voltage, I don't like this. I would prefer this plus minus. If we talk about the voltage, the current uh, go that way, you have a positive on top, negative on uh, bottom. So that is a symbol for inductance. According to physics, the voltage, there is a, a simple relationship between voltage, inductance, and current. Now we look at this diagram again. We have a voltage, a current, induct, inductance. Um, there is a simple relationship that is uh, V equals L times di dt. But this is according to uh, physics. With a constant current, if we have a current, say this is a one milliamp constantly through this in, in, in inductor, in that case, di dt equals zero. If di dt equals zero, then V equals zero. That means if you have a constant current through this inductor, the voltage drop or potential drop across this uh, in inductor is zero. So that is uh, based on this uh, equation here. In this case, the inductor behave as a short circuit. Uh, in this case, because the uh, voltage drop is zero, is uh, current can go through, uh, it seems there is nothing there, just a short circuit. If we make a sudden change in current in an inductor, from this equation here, if your di dt, you have a sudden change, say this is a step change like, uh, like this, if a step change, that means di dt approach to infinite and hence V approach to infinite. In theory, it <laughs> would result in infinite uh, voltage, that means uh, V approach to infinite, very, very high. In practice, it would cause very high voltage, cause a spark. 
and hence this uh, situation should be avoided. When we discuss uh, resistors, we discuss um, resistors in parallel, resistors in series. Now, similarly, we can discuss, we can consider uh, several inductors in series like this. You have uh, three inductors in series. You have R1, R2, R3. Uh, on each inductor, you have a potential drop. That is a V1, and here is V2, here is a V3. According to Kirchhoff voltage law, the overall voltage, if we consider this is the overall start from here to there, this uh, overall voltage, I use uh, Vs to stand for. Uh, Vs equal V1 plus V2 plus V3. And here Vs is the overall voltage between terminal A and terminal B. Now we know this uh, fundamental uh, equation here, V equals L di dt. Now that, that is the same equation there. Therefore, for each part, the V1 equals L1 di dt. Uh, V2 equals L2 di dt. V3 there equals L3 di dt. Do notice all di is the same. Di dt actually is the same because this current must be the same according to Kirchhoff current law. All right, now if we, um, if we, um, uh, we can, all, we also have overall voltage Vis, all right? This Vis, if we consider all those together, those are three together, we use uh, Ls to stand for, that is overall inductance, uh, also should comply this physics. The Vis equals Ls di dt. Here, Ls is overall inductance. Now, if we take all those, I take uh, this result, this, I replace V1, I use this, replace V2, this, replace V3. Uh, last, we have this, this uh, Vs to replace this Vs. Now, if we do this, we will have this equation. L1 di dt plus L2 di dt plus L3 di dt equals Ls di dt. As I mentioned before, the current uh, through this uh, hole, uh, every uh, induct, uh, inductor is the same. So all di dt is the same. So now we can get rid of all those, get rid of all of this. Uh, what we left is uh, L1 plus R2 plus R3 equals Ls. Now this is uh, same as uh, resistors in series. Uh, you remember when we have a few resistors in series, the overall resistance is a sum of individual resistance. A conclusion. If a few inductors are in series, overall inductance is a sum of individual inductance component, which is similar to resistor in series. Now let's uh, consider another case that is an uh, inductor in uh, parallel. Right. Now similarly, we can consider several inductors in parallel. Here we have three inductors, R1, R2, R3 in parallel. Uh, according to Kirchhoff current law, this uh, overall overall current equals all three individual currents together. That means uh, I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals IP. Uh, let's make uh, consistent this IP. 
Here, IP is the overall current. Uh, it's a little mathematics. It's, uh, we start from this uh, fundamental, uh, fundamental uh, physics. This uh, V equals L di dt. And from this, we can change, we can move dt to this side. It's uh, become V dt equals L di. And then both sides, we integrate. Uh, integrate, integrate. We have uh, V dt integrate L di. Uh, if we go further, because L is a constant, we take L out, uh, integrate di. Uh, that is a differential, this, uh, this uh, integration, those two cancel each other. Those two cancel each other. Now we have L i left. So uh, we have this. Now we move uh, L to this side. We have i equals one over L integrate V dt. Uh, from this uh, equation, this uh, fundamental physics, now uh, we derive this fundamental. This is also fundamental. That's a different way to describe the behavior of uh, inductance. Uh, this uh, same thing, so re relationship between those uh, three parameters, I, V, and L. <laughs> now, this uh, relationship is uh, universal. As for any induct inductance, um, the current voltage relationship is uh, uh, all comply with this uh, uh, physics. Now we consider we have uh, in this uh, circuit, we have L1. So now we can use uh, this equation. Uh, through this uh, L1, you have I1, that is current. So we have I1 equals one over L1 V dt. V is uh, the potential here, that is a V. Now similarly, we have uh, I2 equals I over L2 integrate V dt. I3 equals I1 over L3 integrate V dt. Uh, also overall inductance, if we consider we have an overall conductance, that means we group all together, all those are three together, we have an equivalent. Uh, that is LP, LP, okay. Uh, this uh, overall inductance also comply this equation that is IP, IP is the overall current equals one over LP integrate V dt, right? Now we have uh, individual expression L1, I1, I2, I3, IP. We back to previous uh, equation there. There's I1, I2, I3, IP. Now we can take this, take this to replace I1, take this, replace I2, take this, replace I3, take this, replace IP. Uh, now, once we do that, we have I1 is become this. This is I2, this is I3, that is IP. Now we have a more complicated equation. Now, if you notice there, V dt, V dt, V dt. If we back to this uh, diagram, uh, that is uh, V, 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 all the same. All V are the same. So now we can get rid of all those. Uh, this, because all those are same, they uh, cancel each other. What we left is one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 equals one over Lp. Notes that all same V and hence all same integrate V dt. Now we have uh, this uh, same, we can get rid of uh, integrate V dt then we have this uh, simple relationship. All right, uh, con in conclusion, if uh, several inductors are uh, in parallel, inverse of overall inductance is here, 
uh, is the sum of inverse of all individual inductance components. That's uh, inverse, inverse, inverse with add all together. This um, um, phenomena is uh, similar to resistors. If you have uh, a few resistors in parallel, you have the same format. Okay, let's uh, stop uh, here. We uh, continue next time. <laughs>